up, guys? Welcome to the back of my truck. This is where, uh, this is the crib belonging to Fonny Bear, Briggy Bear, and Meatloaf Bear. Uh, and they were just chilling while I worked out. They actually prefer to be in here. It's actually quite funny. Uh, whenever we're at home, we're just chilling. They like, as soon as we open the truck bed, they just like to chill in there and then they watch us. But anyway, today I am 29 weeks pregnant and it's been changing a lot for me actually. Uh, in the second trimester, I was so energetic. I felt more like myself and now I'm officially in the third trimester and dude, the fatigue is real. It's pretty crazy. Um, I just visited my doctor last week and he told me that development's good, baby's chilling, baby's growing really good, heart rate's good, I'm healthy. I did talk about that diabetes test that I had to take. I got the results back and um, no diabetes, so I'm healthy. I'm kicking it, I'm doing really good. So he says, you're doing a great job, mom, which I'm really, really proud of. But in terms of the baby development, I guess just talking about how it's developing physically, like now it just looks more and more like a newborn. So there aren't much updates other than it can open its eyes now, it can see light, it can hear my voice, it can hear everything that's going around it. So that's really, really cool. It's more of a neurological development that's happening. So now a lot of, you know, brain growth is happening. So uh, they recommend talking to the baby, singing, dancing. So what's really cute is Bart will always talk to the baby in Chinese and in English. And then I have a bunch of my girlfriends that will talk to the baby. Like they'll literally put their head on my stomach just to stimulate the baby's brain a little bit and have him or her recognize their voice. So it's really, really cool. Today's workout actually felt really, really heavy just because I am feeling a little bit more fatigued than usual. My body was really, really sore. Um, I did have a shoot yesterday, so that can contribute to it. And I was in the sun for a long time, so I was probably dehydrated. But I listened to my body and I just took it super easy. I just did bench just to, you know, maintain the mechanics and somewhat of the strength in my powerlifting. And then I did a circuit just again for the cardiovasculars, for the, for the heart rate, and just to keep the blood circulating and flowing and clean for the baby. So um, I just did a circuit of cable rows, dumbbell presses, and then curls. So it's more upper body today. And uh, it, like I said, it just felt really, really heavy. But I mean, what can I do? Things are, are getting a lot more difficult in terms of physically for me. So just bending over, sitting down, it just, it just feels a little bit more uncomfortable. I know the baby's bigger. It's about 15 inches long. From what I've been reading, the doctor didn't really tell me the weight just yet, but they're estimating that it's around like four to like five pounds at this point. I'm now officially in the third trimester, which means shit is getting real. Like I can't turn back anymore. And um, I'm just feeling it more and more psychologically. I'm feeling it more physically. I don't know. I, I, feel, I feel normal. I feel good just because I get to train and um, I'm eating okay. I don't feel unhealthy, but now I feel I'm getting more and more anxious just because I'm like, damn, like within two months, my life is gonna change completely and it's gonna be crazy. And it's really cool that I've gotten to document this with all of you guys. And I hope that you guys have been able to learn a little something, even though you may not be expecting. Um, I hope that you're just learning to deal with whatever life throws at you because shit's gonna change all the time. Nothing's ever gonna be perfect. And if it is ever perfect, that just means you're stagnant and you're not growing because you're not changing, you're not developing, you're not um, becoming a better human. So hopefully, if you're not pregnant, you're learning a little something from a, a pregnant woman over here who has, you know, somewhat of physical limitations. Um, I'm still doing it. I'm still showing up as often as I possibly can to still keep training. So definitely keep that mindset for yourself. You deserve it. You need to be the best you ever. So don't give up. Keep pursuing it. Keep doing you. I believe in you. And thanks again for following me throughout my journey. Until next week. They don't give a shit about what I just said. <laughs> Do you care, Fun? She gives no fucks. Meatloaf? Someone farted in there, and I wish you guys could smell it, because it smells so bad. I think it was Fun. She's the older one. She has a looser butthole than the other two. Oh, Fun, you smell really bad. Ugh. Can we cut it? This girl smells really bad.